What's up YouTube? Welcome to the LaceUp channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can use LaceUp to optimize your delivery routes. On the screen you're going to see a couple components. On the top you'll see LaceUp and below you'll see that we use Route For Me. So to begin optimizing our routes we're going to click here on the delivery screen. On the bottom we're going to see all the unassigned orders. These are orders that have been sent from a pre-sales person. These are orders that have been made in the back office. These are orders that have come in through our web connector. Now what's going to happen is we're going to take these three or, or these eight orders and we're going to assign them to these trucks in the most efficient route possible. Now to calculate these routes, we're going to take into account clock in clock out time for the driver, break times for the driver, truck capacity, customer receiving windows, and many more variables. Now to do the optimization, we're simply going to highlight the eight orders and we're going to click optimize multiple. When I click optimize multiple, the system will run the address, the order, the trucks, the times through an optimizer and it's going to give you the three most efficient routes. Those three efficient routes will open on a map which is going to open momentarily. So as you can tell the map is initializing and the routes are loaded. On the bottom, you'll see the three routes that have been created. So let's check out the first green route here. So here you can see that it's going to follow the most efficient route. It's going to start and end on this street. It's going to go first here, and then it's going to go second here. So let's look, take a look at the second route. Same concept. If you look down here, it's going to tell you number of stops, estimated fuel cost, estimated distance and the total time to run the route. Now I'm assuming I'm not spending very much time at each stop. You can also plug in how much time you're going to spend at each stop. So let's go ahead and view all three routes here on the map. Let's see if there's any overlapping stops and it appears there is. If we look here at number four, I want to move this stop to this route. To do so is fairly straightforward. We take number four here, we move it up, and the system will recalculate and re-optimize all those routes. So now the system has recalculated and re-optimized the three routes. When I'm done optimizing, I simply click Save and Close. The lace of system will take those optimized routes and import them into the system. So if you look now, truck one, truck two, and truck three all have their respective stops associated with them. Now let's focus on truck one. What's going to happen at this point, at least what our customers do, our distributors, is they go here and they print each load for the truck. Now when you print the load, the objective is to pick and pack the product to put it on the truck. So right away you'll see that it's going to create a load sheet for truck one. You can print the load sheet, not only that, but you can highlight and print the pick tickets, you can print the actual orders if need be, and you can print a pre-sales production report that shows you exactly what items are on what truck. So you can see here, here's the item, here's the order that it's on, the truck, the order number, and the quantity. So now the driver is ready to go out on his or her route. If you take care of the handheld and you sync your data, what's going to happen is the system will import that route into the handheld. We're going to go ahead and accept our load. Here's our route. If we open up our delivery window, truck one, customer three, two, one, customer three, two, one. So let's go to our first customer. We're going to tap on the address and the system will give us turn by turn directions to that stop. 
enable the directions here, and we're on our way to the first stop. So that is how you optimize orders onto trucks using Lace of Solutions and Route for Me. For more tutorials, please subscribe to our channel. And for more information, please see the description down below. Thank you, and we'll see you next video.